how to get Hadoop off the ground. Um, so essentially, just to recap, we've uh, gone through an overview of why you want to do this, how you're going to do it, uh, that sort of thing. A preamble as to what's coming. Then in uh, step two, uh, part two of the series, we um, we got our uh, Amazon Cloud instance up and running in EC2, and uh, part three was we actually did the base install of Hadoop. So now we're at the point where, well, we got to get this cloud thing going, this little thing, the T for Twitter. So we have to get. <laughs> it's not as just you know, there's some there's some coding involved, but really, that's that's on the road. The first thing we have to do to stream tweets to your Hadoop environment is you have to register a Twitter app, okay? Because if you think about it, Twitter is doing us all a favor. I mean, we're getting access to a lot of information. They need to monitor what goes on. So the way they do that for all the third-party apps is you have to register an app um, in their, go to, the, to this URL, dev.twitter.com. Um, in addition to that, you, you, first and foremost, you need a Twitter account. So if you don't have a Twitter account, just sign, sign up. Um, you know, then you can follow me on Twitter, datadansandler.com. That's, uh, that's my Twitter handle. Okay. So I'm going to sign in. Okay. Yep. So once you're in here, go to my applications. Blah, blah. So I already have an app that, that was created. I'm going to create a new app just to show you the steps. And this is for my existing Hadoop environment. So you need to pick a name. So Dan's you to you. Example. The name is not really important, it just helps you make sense of the world. Description uh, works here. Uh, the website, this doesn't really get used other than they have to be a traffic cop, so I should say Twitter for people on Twitter. So you want to provide them with a callback URL as well. Rules of the road, right? So, <laughs> I know, okay, that they, I, I absolutely know that they enforce these rules. Um, here's how. Uh, I had, I had a VM image using this, this app. So, the app is essentially, it assigns you tokens. Those tokens are used in your Flume agent. Uh, I should say your Flume source, custom source for Twitter that runs underneath the flu major. So I actually had the app running in two different environments at the same time. And for some reason I noticed that the tweets weren't streaming to one of the environments. I checked the log and the message was, whoa, strong, slow down there. I think it, I don't think they said cowboy, but they slow down there, hold your horses, um, you're doing two things at once. So um, they absolutely put uh, some enforcement around these rules, but that's why we agree to these rules because we uh, plan on following them. Got the HTTP. Alrighty, so they give you a consumer key, a secret, okay, and then you create an access token. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my apps, we'll see how this looks. Okay. Consumer key, secret, 
And these are the tokens, the OAuth standard, which if anyone's integrated with Facebook, LinkedIn, that sort of thing, OAuth is a standard. And the access token and the secret. Okay. These are important because they're going to be used um, throughout uh, when we actually configure the Flume agents. Um, I believe it's uh, six, so either part six or part seven of the series. So, by the way, I'm showing you these because I'm about to uh, disable this app. Um, so please don't share these keys with anyone. Um, you don't want to get bounced out of Twitter because someone hacked uh, hacked your app. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. And, and the reason why I show this is because, again, a lot of this, what I'm showing you, is based on an existing Cloudera um, tutorial. It's actually right here. Okay. So they kind of set it up with their blog. Um, and they showed you, um, and you can see here, that's one way to look at it. I kind of broke it down a little further. Okay. Um, if you go to GitHub, source code repository, and a little bit more, they show you how to actually install this. So they kind of presume you've set up your Twitter app and you know how to do that. You know, I had to do what, maybe one or two Google searches to figure out how to do this. I figured I would just include this. This is probably the easiest step in our in our journey here, um, just to create these. But definitely the, the major thing is you need to capture these tokens. Okay, write them down, copy them. Don't share them. Um, we'll be using those um, pretty soon. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. Okay. I, again, I was just showing you this as an example. Delete the app. Bye-bye. All right. Yeah, this is my go-to one. So... That was quick. Like I said, a lot of the, I, know, I know the the last. I kind of said this in the last one. The uh, Cloudera install took 36 minutes. The video was 36 minutes at least. So my apologies. Um, but I promise this will this will begin to uh, go a little faster now. Okay. So we're at step four in the process. Um, we have uh, a few more things to do before we're actually at the part where we can stream tweets Twitter data to our Hadoop environment. Next one is configuring Flume. Um, part 6 is, uh, is going to be um, one of those steps that invites where we uh, we have a few things to do to configure Hive. You have to install MySQL and all that good stuff. Then we'll configure the Uzi workflow. I'll explain what that does. Part 8 is where I take the Cloudera tutorial and I make it real time. There's a built-in wait event for the Uzi workflow. I'm going to show you how we get around that. I uh, write some basic Hive queries using ODBC. Then I have some. Uh, I'm going to demo a few things. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you. Okay, th this is just like the basic sort of. Once you start querying, it, those are basic queries. I'm going to layer in some um, my feeble attempt at data science, but it actually was uh, I found it more meaningful the results. Um, basically uh, visualizing some of the data and clustering and doing some statistical analysis. I'll kind of show you what I'm doing with Facebook. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm streaming Facebook to my environment. I want to show you um, if you need help doing that, just reach out to me on Twitter or my blog um, at datadansandler.com. Uh, I'm sorry, at datadansandler um, for Twitter or www.datadansandler.com. Um, and I'll share, share with you some parting thoughts. So, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, what is probably the easiest part of our um, of our of our exercise, uh, which is registering the Twitter app. Um, until next time, um, I will talk to you later.